I still can't believe they haven't removed this farming method from Diablo 4. It's been working since the beta, and now I'm going to share it with you. And I mean specifically, level up. We're not going to be farming rare items or legendary items by using this method. It is purely about getting as much experience as fast as possible. I'll show you another tip and trick on how to get tons of legendaries in another video, which I'll link down below after this one's done. But we're going to start out over here in Kiova Shard, right in the center of the map. And from there, you're going to want to come all the way to the north over here to Core Dragon, which is a stronghold location. You're going to want to come here around level 20, and then you can just sit here and farm because the location levels up with you. Because it's a stronghold location, it's actually got this golden circle, which is like an event location. It's very important that you do not finish this event. Otherwise, you won't be able to use this level up location video and take advantage of what I'm about to show you. But as you can see, it is directly north of Kiovashad and I'm standing just here underneath it on this bridge. From this bridge that I'm standing on, we're going to come over here to the left. And as you can see, it's level to our current level, which is level 36. And there's a ladder right here to enter. You're also going to want to be farming this location on the highest world tier that you can be on for the maximum experience boost. So we're going to go ahead and enter right here. And what we're going to do is follow my exact route. So there's a bunch of guys here. So we're going to pull them. And then we're going to run over here. We're going to pull all of these mobs. We're going to go up the stairs to the left. Pull all of these mobs in the center. I'm just going to hit them a couple of times. Then on the right here, there's some more mobs. I'm going to dash over here. And there's even more mobs over here. Then we're just going to go ahead and kill them all. And you can just spam your health bots because they actually respawn. We're going to kill all of these trash mobs until there's just these elite mobs left in the middle. You can see just all those elite mobs there in the middle. Then we're going to press escape, leave game, and leave game. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go start game again. And then we're going to log into the game. So because we left during the event, it's actually going to spawn us back outside this circle. It's going to refund all of our health potions. And now we can literally go right back in, climb back up and do this exact same thing again and again repeatedly. So once again, you see all these mobs over here on the left. We pull those. These guys at the back here. And then just walk through to the right. There's a bunch of mobs there. We're going to pull those guys too. And then these mobs just over here. And then I'm going to dash through them because I'm on my rogue leveling build here. So I'm going to use the spinning blades here just to kill everything. And everything's already dead. Oh, we actually got a legendary ring drop there as well. So we'll pick that up. And all of these like high value mobs, we're going to ignore them. You can kill them, but it would take you extra time. So instead, you're going to press escape, leave game and leave game. And then we just go start game again. And we do this repeatedly over and over. And obviously I'm trying to slow down because I'm commentating here. But the experience you get, you literally cut out all of the parts that you would normally have of running to different events, going to different dungeons, waiting for things to respawn. And it's just instant tons of mobs, kill them really quickly and then do it again. And rinse and repeat. And this is essentially all we're going to do to level up over and over again. So I'm going to go and do it a bit faster this time. We're going to use some dashes here. You also want to be quite survivable if you're doing this, especially on world level 2 or higher. Because obviously, yeah, you don't want to die while doing this. This uh, rogue build also gives me unlimited energy as well, so it's really easy just to farm things like this. So we've almost killed everything. You know, depending on your build, you might want to group things up in the middle here just to make it easier. Then we can go ahead and leave game, leave game, and it just resets everything. All the enemies spawn back. We press start game again. This is ridiculous. You can level up like this. You could have done this in the beta as well, but it still works right now. And the funny thing is, is that this exact method works on lots of other locations in the game and even some other strongholds. So you can take this and you can apply it to other areas in the game to really exploit the leveling process. So we've leveled up really fast doing this. I'm just going to run in once again. Depending, by the way, on your class, this is going to be a lot easier or a lot harder. Like the Rogue is one of the fastest AoE clearers in the game. Probably a close second would be the Sorcerer. Um, but you can make an AOE, AOE build pretty much on most characters. So, you know, this is pretty easy to go ahead and replicate. As you can see, we've leveled up there. So we can go ahead 
leave the game again. Now, as for your actual character build, you're going to want to commit to a leveling build that has massive area of effect clearing abilities as quickly as possible. I'll link my build guides down below that I'm using in the description. But also, using this same exploit, there are tons of locations you can go on the map to actually farm tons of legendary loot and rare items really quickly. So I'll link a video on how to do that over here, and I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.